Alrighty, what's going on guys? Welcome back to some more Persona 5. We are waiting for Futaba to open up her eyes, bro. The cleanse is coming in five days. I'm hoping that uh, I didn't miss something because I'm afraid that uh, we might have messed up, but we're getting close to this day. We'll see how it goes, but we'll continue what we're doing. Just just wandering around, doing everything until that happens. Hanging out with our buds. So right now, who wants to hang out? The Let's hang out with the Shogi girl. Let's go hang out with the Shogi girl for sure. If Ume is talking to someone, she seems kind of troubled. I feel like my bond will grow stronger soon. What are you going to do? Are you going to talk to her? Uh, of course. Thank you for shaking my hand. I'm never going to wash it. Huh? Please wash it. I can't believe that you're really here on a church. I read on the internet that you pray to God for victory. Is that true? No. Can I take a selfie with you and post it online? Sorry, I've been turning down all such requests. By the way, is it true that you're trying to become a professional? Nothing's been... I'll be cheering for you to qualify. You'd be the first woman to surpass the third Dan League. I really believe in you. Thank you very much. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Men like that approach me all the time. At first, I thought they were what you were one of them. I really must apologize for being rude to you. Um, it bothers me when people make such a big fuss over me, considering that the priest is doing me a great favor by letting me play here. You see, he's my shogi friend. And he's very kind. He once told me that he wanted to become a professional player. And he doesn't laugh at my embarrassing habit when I when we play together. Oh. So, I did the photo shoot. I'm embarrassed just thinking about it. Did you see it? It was called the Venus of Shogi. Uh That's quite the headline. It certainly is. It's not really an excuse, but the editorial staff came up with the title on their own. Ever since I won the Female Shogi League, I've been getting a lot of attention. I just figured I could contribute to the Shogi world. Besides, my mother seems to be very happy. Whether I win, she rejoices as if it were her own victory. So I want to live up to the expectations she has for me. However, she's been a bit overzealous lately. She set up the interview and photo shoot. It's as if she wants to be the manager of a celebrity. Are you having a difficult time? A bit, but it's fine because it's for my mother. Sorry. I should be teaching you how to play instead of talking about my mother. Today I'll be showing you something very practical. It's a tactic using the reserved pawns you've taken from your opponent in a more effective way. Nevertheless, I apologize. You're such a good listener. I feel at ease speaking actually. with you. Aside from the priest, you're actually the first person I've spoken to about my mother. Nice. Leveling up the star. All right. Now then, I will instruct you while we play. Are you ready? My knowledge is up. Until next time.
Uh, this is uh, Hifumi. I appreciate you spending time with me today. I ended up feeling much better after sharing my concerns with you. But this hardly seems fair. How can I teach you properly when I'm like, when I'm this distressed? Ah, don't worry about it. It's part of our deal too. You make for a refreshing opponent somehow. The more we exchange, the more I feel the world expanding. Teaching you is also a great learning experience for me, as it leads to a deeper understanding of myself. Well then, if you'll excuse me, I'll see you for our next match. So the shogi girl, she thought we were a creep at the beginning, but now we're, she likes us, I guess. Uh, she likes hanging out with us, at least. It's good. What are your plans? Simply waiting isn't very fun. People watching hasn't feared, hasn't fared too well either. Do you have a moment? Who do you think will win, the Phantom Thieves or Medjid? I don't care. That's an interesting point of view. Saying that this showdown is being staged by a major corporation for publicity purposes. Are you sure you want to say that? The sponsors will complain if they hear those com comments. Don't worry. This will just make things more exciting. Be sure to edit them so they flow together. That's what we should do, huh? We should go work again. What do you want to do? Oh, thank God. There's no end to these customers. Just keep it cool and don't forget the smile. There's the Prada bread, or panda bread. The package is shaped like a panda. Shoot.
the thing is. When I got close, it got scared and ran off, dragging its leg. Anyways, I just overheard some college-aged people in the store talking. They said there was a college student living nearby who abuses animals to relieve his stress. I and then I remembered that injured cat I saw. I'm thinking maybe he was the one who hurt the cat. Unforgivable. That's what I thought. I know how you feel, but the police can't do anything without the, any proof. I've been thinking about that cat ever since. It's hard to keep smiling. You know, the police can't do it, but do you think those phantom thieves could help? Do you know his name? Huh? I think the guy's name is Kazui Kazuo Suboi. It'll all work out. Yeah. Good work today. Hey. Mm -hmm. Dude, we're really running out of time. People are getting even more restless online. Are you done for if we lose here? I don't even want to think about the possibility right now. Indeed, those who once revered us as heroes now seem to revile us. We've done all we can. Sounds like everyone's starting to get anxious, but considering how fast the days are closing in, the best thing we can do for now is stay calm. As long as you request me, I'll do your housework. Hey! Then I'll head over! I could either give her this, the the black mug. I feel like uh, we'll give her the aroma set. Thanks. Thank you for using our service. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Everyone's here. Listen up. <sighs> yep. Oh, 
Okay, let's go. Time to work. Well then. All the way to the bottom. The target in a preceding area. Oh, that sucks. We gotta go up again. Jose. Alright, we found it. Time to get this dude for hurting kittens. Cats, what about cats? Maybe they die when I use them to blow off some steam, but the shelter was going to kill them anyways. In fact, I bet those cats are happy to be so useful to humans. What? What a poor excuse for a human. I could never forgive someone like you. Why don't you cat complain to the ir irresponsible people taking their pets to the pound, huh? Well, who cares? You guys are superheroes, right? Then hurry up and destroy this rotten society. Well, take your twisted desires, but first, I'll show you the pain you cause those poor animals. Unbelievable! Are you some kind of cat monster? Whoa, he's ugly. You're gonna kill me. <clears throat> Feel the pain. Those cats are actually getting killed because of you. Don't you get it now? Remember the awful things you did to those cats? Doesn't it make more make you feel horrible? I've done something terrible. I'm even less of an animal than an animal. I'm worthless trash. I won't tell you to give up on life, but you will spend the rest of your life in guilt. There it is, the treasure. Lots of progress made. I've been, er, I've made a lot of progress with the medicine, but I'm too lazy to, ooh, excuse me, to discuss it over chat. Can we meet up for a bit? Or are you not interested unless it's for a clinical trial? We'll hang out with her. <laughs> hey. Let's just enjoy the chief's coffee for now. Yeah. 
here. All the data, specimens, and sample medicine. They're all there inside that case. Let me know if you need anything else. Based on what I read in the finding summary you sent me, the results are truly amazing. We'll perform uh, one final exam with our equipment and we'll be ready to treat Miwa-chan with it. So this is the kid from your study? <laughs> In my little guinea pig. You certainly walked a dangerous line, but I'm sure you implemented the strictest of safety protocols. Please put some thought into the offer we discussed, will you? All right, I'll call you later. He's the doctor treating Miwa. He just so happened to be a year ahead of me in college. I told him everything since I was so close to perfecting the medicine. Thanks. I have to thank you again. All this is thanks to you helping me with the clinical trial. Um. Yeah, don't worry about it. I see. Then I guess I won't. From my tour of their medical facility and discussions I had with their development team. I'm confident with this will be a success and they'll complete development on schedule. The final results will be out of my hands though, if I don't accept their offer, that is. Hmm. I was recruited. He offered me a position of head of research and development at his hospital, which means I'll have to close my practice. <clears throat> I start first thing next month. Unfortunately, Takemi Clinic of Internal Medicines will be gone. That is troubling. Because of your interest exams? <laughs> you seem flustered. Are you really that troubled by it? Just kidding. <laughs> the part about being recruited is true, but I don't intend to close my practice. I kind of like being a general practitioner. It's still work with them to develop new medicine, though. Once the medicine's perfected, I'll be able to see Miwa and receive my reward, her smile. I need to give you your reward, too. I think of something. I'll think of something to give my little guinea pig for holding up his end of the deal. Nice. Level up. Oof, one more rank, bro. Right. Max rank. Anyway, you were really concerned when you thought I was going to close this office. I know you said it was for your entrance exams, but come on, really? I think it's about time you started being honest with me. It's okay, you can tell me. Why did you keep coming to me? I should choose my words carefully. I'm already in a relationship with another girl. <coughs> Man. This girl was my first, like, I was like, oh, this is the girl I'm going to date. <laughs> but now I have Anne, bro. I can't cheat on Anne. So I got to tell her it was for my exams. I see. Well, I could take a hint. It's getting late. You should get going. Come visit me anytime. I'll see you later. Hey, thanks for tagging along today. I've got my drug in my hands of someone I trust and everything's on track for cure to go through. And something tells me I'd never have gotten this far without you. Thanks for doing this. You stuck by me even when one of those side effects could have killed you. You really are the best guinea pig I could have hoped for. You're welcome. I'll find some way to pay you back. It'll be good, I promise. Alright, I'm gonna hang up now. We are done with the clinical trials, but you can drop by anytime you need this for some medical supplies. Might as well keep getting checkups too. Better safe than sorry, right? I'll look at whatever you need me to.
Make her clean the house. One day till the cleanse. Who's here? I think it's that detective dude. Oh, it's the redhead girl. Hello. So it's not gonna deepen just yet. Maybe some other time. I can either I can only hang out with these two, bro. What's up? Hey. Yo. Yeah. How is Futaba? I haven't heard anything. This ain't just some normal oversleeping stuff. Our deadline's tomorrow. If Futaba's not up by then. But can she really do anything even if she does wake up? Honestly, I'm not sure. Either way, our only option is to put our trust in her. That's right. If she's been asleep all this time, do you think she's having some kind of long dream? Dreams are said to be the sorting of memories after all. She surely needs ample time to face her troubled past. Her past? You think she's really facing all that stuff right now? If that is the case, she should probably need a great amount more time to do so. But considering how she had us wrapped around her finger, I feel as though she'll be able to pull this off. I'm sure we'll be f I believe in Futaba. 
have to agree. Who knows how this might turn out? Hey, my boy wants to hang out. What is this? I shake with desire. We gotta hang out with this bro. We haven't hung out with him in so long. Uh, we have a target we haven't identified, right? Let's go to Harmony Alley and gather info on the old man. No, no, we don't have time for that. Hi. Hey, good evening. I have some time before the shoot. If you are not busy, do you want to hang out? The bond will not go up with this guy. Go for it. Thank you. Let's get going. Goodbye. Alright, this is it. The day of the cleansing or whatever. Isn't today our deadline for dealing with Medjed? Futaba's still asleep too. This won't be good. Hey. What's up? How's Futaba? Same as always. Today's the day Wakaba passed. I do this every year. Here, I've got a cup for you two. Futaba reminds me so much of her mother. She's a smart girl. It doesn't just go with the flow either. Wakaba, your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? That reminds me. You saw me talking to that prosecutor. And, I mean, that woman in the suit, right? I remember you were real bothered by it. She might come back, so I guess I should tell you about it. That woman was trying to get information on Wakaba's research out of me. That's what we heard in the palace. You don't need to know what the research was about. Just know there was some trouble around it. Obviously, Wakaba got dragged into that as well. Now, they ruled her death a suicide. But I've got my doubts. Doubts? Could she have been killed? Supposedly, there were people who wanted to take her research and use it for their own benefit. Don't get me wrong, though. I don't have a lick of evidence. That's why I haven't told Futaba any of this. I don't want to cause her any more trouble. It sounded like she had suspicions of her own, based on what she said in the palace. Still, there's one thing I regret. It was right before Wakaba died. She told me, I think I might die. I brushed it off, thinking it was just a joke. But if I had just taken her seriously... <sighs> that's another reason I took Futaba in. Redemption. She went through such horrible things. Those heartless adults just yelled at the poor girl. Hey, how do you heal emotional scars? I think, yeah, they just heal on their own. I agree. I'm waiting for it to happen, but... Futaba? And she's outside, hell yeah. She's having her change of heart. Uh, uh, huh? You can't sell this. No, no, never mind that. What, uh, how did you get here? Uh, I walked. You're okay? Was that bad? 
Th th that's not it. I'm just shocked to see you out of the house. Uh, I'm sorry I worried you. <laughs> it's all right. By the way, what's the date today? Uh, it's, uh, it's the 21st. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Uh, Medjid? Oh, that's it. Let's take care of it now. Come. You think it's gonna be something really easy? She's just gonna help us out really fast? Or does she just have their I names already? <laughs> Medjid. Now, how do we cook them? Uh, going medium rare. Eliminate them. Hell yeah. Let's be all ruthless. <laughs> Violent much? Hey, Futaba. We don't have much time left. Are you sure you could do this? The, the kitty talked? <laughs> is it a dream? I'm going back to sleep. It is not a dream. Get up. Say something! He's a talking cat. Relax. R right. Now hurry Not a big up. deal. Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's get cracking. You're just tapping away over there. Are you sure this will work? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Futaba! I don't think she can hear me. Talk about intense concentration. This place is so messy. I'm surprised she could focus at all. Futaba, you should really clean your room a bit. Huh. She's not listening. Oh, As she should be, bro. She's busy. Is boring. Let's clean the place up. We're gonna clean her room for her, bro? How lame. Looks a little better now, don't you think? Well, Futaba, we're done on our end. Are you finished yet? <laughs> she can't hear a word I'm saying. <sighs> Guess we'll just have to keep waiting. <sighs> I'm done! What's up? Something happened? It's finished. Finished? What is? Uh, it's so clean. Why? We cleaned it. Anyway, is it true? Did you really take care of Medjed? I handled them, and someone else handled my room. I don't understand, but this is good. Futaba? Hey, Futaba, what's wrong? <sighs> Just immediately passed out. Well, it looks like it's been taken care of. I guess we should get home and sleep too. So Futaba's awake? Awesome. And has Majid been taken care of? More importantly, how's Futaba doing? Uh, sh she's back asleep. Seriously? She must have been quite exhausted. I can't say I blame her at all. If Medjid's been affected, it will surely make sh the sure the news, or will make the news. That should be enough to confirm whether or not the date's been done. Then why don't we all watch the news together? Yes, we should meet up at LeBlanc as usual. See you there the clear, tomorrow. Right? The real question to be asked. I hope we're in the clear. Hey! 
Yo. How's Futaba doing? Are you hitting it off fine? We are. Hey. Oh. Yes, all right. Mm. Let's see what he has to say. The smoothness. There's no, mista no mistaking it. It's Hawaiian Kona. Let me explain. A Hawaiian treat because of the rarity and the price of the cocoa Kona beans. A Kona blend only needs to contain 10% Kona beans. A 100% Kona coffee rose is quite expensive. Good Kona coffee is known to have a rich flavor, bright acidity, and complex aroma. <sighs> Not bad. It's worth a compliment. <sighs> well then. Hey, your friends are here. Hurry down. Up? What up? So you're finally up, huh? Don't slack off just because you're on summer vacation. Yo, you look tired. We've made ourselves at home. Late last night, it was discovered that someone has tampered with the hacker group Medjid's website. The site's main page now displays what is thought to be the mark belonging to the Phantom Thieves. More so, the personal information of a Japanese man, a possible Medjid member, was illegally publicized. Aren't these the guys people have been up in arms about? Medjid has yet to issue an official reply. Furthermore, their previously announced cleanse of Japan has remained unimplemented for now. Some speculate that they have taken this series of events seriously and ultimately canceled their plan. What are you all smirking about? Nothing. Well, stop it. You're going to drive away all my customers. <laughs> By laughing After and smiling. After break, we will be asking guests from various fields about this turn of events. But there ain't any customers. Can it? My customers are on summer vacation, too. Oh, crap. I just realized our break's almost over. There are still 10 days left. I want to go somewhere, but we can't just leave Futaba-chan alone. Some things still concern me too. Like that research. Oh, did you just get up? Good morning. <gasps> it seems she's cautious of us. Hey, uh, why don't we go upstairs? If any customers come, she'll be even more afraid. Why don't you go with them, Futaba? Have fun. It's about time my regulars show up anyway. So I don't want you guys loitering around my store. The fact that there were no damages due to the hacker's actions is but an afterthought. The issue I want to make clear is the attitude of the police, and more importantly, the government. <sighs> What do you mean? Are they doing their best to find an effective countermeasure against these phantom thieves? Is it not the government's duty to create a society where its citizens can live without worry? Unfortunately, the current cabinet is powerless. As such, they should be disbanded. I believe now is the time for me to risk my political career in hope of making a new reality. A new political system that goes beyond parties or factions. An ideal country of peace and order. This politician seems quite promising. I have to agree. 
I hope he can work to ease the anxieties of the elderly. What do you think, boss? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't listening. I honestly, uh, I'm pretty sure that guy that was on the news is the guy that was drunk and hitting on the girl that, like, got us in trouble in the very beginning. So the Phantom Thieves only stole the heart of Futaba Sakura, and Mejid was in turn defeated by her real-world hacking abilities? This does correlate to the facts as we know them. If he's telling the truth, then Wakaba Ishiki didn't commit suicide. Did a third party target her life with the goal of destroying her research? Wakaba's death was two years ago. That also coincides with when the incident started occurring. Does this other Metaverse user that Matarame and Kaneshiro mentioned really exist? Earlier, I briefly mentioned about those psychotic breakdown incidents that have alarmed the public. All of a sudden, people will lose consciousness or become violent. A situation as incomprehensible as that can't be explained away as troubled social conditions. I suspect that these cases are all connected to a larger, man-made plot. The method involved always muddled the explication but your story has virtually confirmed its viability. Although I wouldn't have expected a new criminal to come to light from your testimony. What did your group think of this other Metaverse user? Uh, they are the true criminal. How self-centered of you. The Phantom Thieves tamper with people's hearts without asking consent. How is that different? <laughs> well, no matter how you thought of them, there can be no doubting your resolve. Are those incidents because of you or someone else? Either way, I will get to the bottom of this. Hey, you leveling up with her? Hell yeah, the judge is up. Now, let's move on to your next crime. Kunikazu Okumura. You should know who he is, considering what happened. Your testimony regarding this incident will be serious. I'm sure you understand why. Answer my next question carefully. What did you do to this Okumura? To think the cognitive version of a person would transform into such a horrible monster and attack us. That means our enemies aren't limited to shadows. I thought the other people were just victims. Like the slaves at the castle or the walking ATMs. Even though they seem to be alive, they're only part of the backdrop. The environment. In other words, the palace ruler determines the form and strength of their cognitions. I would have loved to ask Futaba's mother how far along she was with her research. Research, huh? She was looking into that cognitive science stuff, yeah? If we put together all the information we've gathered up to this point, Abuse of cognitive science can lead to death, and it may even relate to the psychotic breakdown incidents. Considering the cognitive aspect, I sense a strong connection between it and the metaverse. On top of that, the research might have been stolen and used by someone else. You mean those guys that showed Futaba-chan the fake suicide note? If that is the case, those people are unforgivable. Hey Futaba, is there anything else you can remember? She is quite difficult. That smell. Come on, no fair. Hey, can I snag a bite? Meanie. Why don't we take a short break? I've been thinking, even if Futaba is a genius, could she really crush an international hacker organization that easily? The one who taunted the Phantom Thieves was a guy in Japan. I knew the Mejed members in Japan weren't anything special, so I wasn't worried. How do you know that? Because I'm the founder. What? Um, what do you mean? Should we take that literally? Yep, it was only me at first, back when I was referred to as the Hacker of Justice. But since I stayed anonymous, a bunch of guys from all over the world started using the name. And those were the ones committing cyber crimes. It was a hassle to expose all of them, so I just left them be. 
so Futaba was the true Medjed, and we were freaking out over some weak-ass dipshits? <sighs> you should have told us from the start, Futaba. I discarded the Medjed name a while ago. I'm Alibaba now. Futaba, what do you want to do now? Since you know our secret, we'd like you to join our team. Okay. Just like that? This may even ensure our investigation of mementos goes along smoothly. Well, I guess. Well, Futaba's real amazing. She's gonna be a big help for us, huh? Say, Futaba, how did you find out about us? Secret. Where did you learn to hack? Private. When did you obtain the nav? I refuse to answer. Oh my god, bro. John sure is unique. Still, it'll be a problem if she doesn't open up to us some more. At the very least, we need to be able to communicate normally with her. <laughs> what should we do? Get to know her. How? First, we'll need to help her open up to us. If we each spend an entire day with her, maybe she'll get more used to being around us. I see. We do have the time thanks to summer vacation. We can begin tomorrow. Let's go to the beach! There'll be tons of people there. Plus, we got totally dried out in that desert. That's a great idea! I forgot I hadn't gone to the beach yet. Uh, excuse me. I'll come by tomorrow. See you then. Let me help as well. I don't have anything planned. Thanks. We can set a schedule with everyone else depending on when they're free. Okay! Can I really do this? Why me? Stress is the enemy of beauty, you know. How can I stay calm about this? I understand how you feel. Thanks to the incident with those hackers, people are calling us incompetent. And on top of all that, the Phantom Thieves are claiming justice is on their side. Don't make me laugh. Mejed was dealt with by either the Phantom Thieves themselves, or some avid supporter. There are no tracks whatsoever, so they must be quite skilled. Either way, the general public recognizes the Phantom Thieves as the subjugating party. They're gaining support and influence much faster than we could have anticipated. It is indeed an abnormal situation. I'm beginning to suspect mass manipulation of some kind. It's even possible that a powerful person is behind them, plotting the psychotic breakdowns. If only I had realized sooner. It's rare to hear you speak in that tone. For the sake of my justice, I won't forgive them. Hey, I heard some people talking about us on the train home. They were saying how awesome they think the Phantom Thieves are. I've heard things too, it's becoming a huge topic of conversation. To be fair, the casualties from Medjid's attack would have been massive. It's no surprise they reserve us as for preventing it. Good to hear. Yeah, it's really all thanks to Alibaba. You were a great help. It was nothing. Oh, that reminds me. Remember that stuff about the ATMs and banks just stopping? That wasn't Medjid, was it? Nope. That was totally separate. So people were overreacting to more coincidences? Either that or those rumors there were never true to begin with. You seem to be quite talkative in these conversations. Is that so? I'll shut up then. I don't think I get it, but I'm pretty sure she's angry. You gotta apologize, Yusuke. Why? Hey, is this really going to be okay? I'm worried about how things will be from now on. <sighs> now that's my Phantom Thieves. I knew they'd pull it off. This definitely proves the justice of Phantom Thieves. 
may be right, right? It feels great. Even the guys who had been are criticizing the Phantom Thieves basically have to accept them now. The news has been spreading like wildfire. I'll give it an extra boost on my side as well. <sighs> I bet the approval rating will go through the roof tomorrow. Look forward Why to it. he of all people getting excited about this? Well, the news really did draw a lot of attention. I can't wait to see what happens. Let's do it. All right, let's save the game. This is a good spot to stop. So, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it if you did, and I'll see you guys later. You guys having a good night.